Hello. Hi, my name's Frank. I'm a tire developer at BMW M. I'd like to tell you what we paid particular attention to on the tires for the new BMW M3 and M4. As the tires represent the only direct contact with the road surface, we've made the front tires wider. On the one hand, that ensures safety, but also driving dynamics. That way we can realize all the potential that we've put into the suspension and axle development and put it on the road. Here you can see a front tire from the previous BMW M3 M4 generation. And this is a front tire from the current M3 M4 generation. When we compare them, you can see how much wider the new one is, which allows us to use more potential on the front axle and realize more lateral force, but also generate shorter braking distances because we have more surface area on the asphalt. This is the summer version of the full tyre programme that we're now offering on the new M3, M4 models. Here the 18, 19 inch combination as we call it. Front axle 18 inches, rear axle 19 inches. I'll go into why we do that in a moment. From here, the next three sets are 19 inches at the front and 20 at the rear. And the last two combinations are very special. I'll come back to them later on. As you've just seen, of all my examples, this is the only one fitted to a rim. It's still an experimental tire. Down here you can see a tire spec marked in yellow. This tells us and the tire manufacturer during the development stage what the tire consists of, which rubber mix was used and what constructions are underneath the rubber mix. This is also an experimental rim. It's painted black because that best disguises the contours so that when we drive the prototypes, no one can make out how they'll look later on. And what does the spec say? Why do we do that? When we work with tyre manufacturers, they don't just send us tyres and we drive them and say whether they're good or bad. We actually work with the manufacturers on developing tyres specifically designed for the vehicle. We work with different premium manufacturers who develop tyre mixtures parallel to the development of the vehicle and make sure that the setups ensure a high level of grip. It's the balance between front and rear tyres that's essential. For the first time on a series model, we're using different wheel and tyre dimensions which you may know from the M4 GTS or other sports and super sports cars. This allows us to use a greater air volume on the front axle, slightly higher sidewalls, which enables us to bridge the gap between everyday suitability, comfort, behavior in the wet and racetrack suitability, because we can distribute the heat from the brakes and tires better across the whole running surface. On the rear axle, however, we chose slightly flatter, lower sidewalls. This creates what we call greater oblique running stiffness, which means the tyre is stiffer laterally. This creates more grip in bends and when accelerating and braking in bends. All in all, more rear axle stability. For racetrack lovers, there is now the possibility to order track tyres, as with the M3, M4 CS and GTS and M2 CS. Here you can see the difference between a street and a track tyre. Here the outside, the outer curve side of the tyres. The track tyre has almost no void ratio, nothing but rubber, lots of contact with the road. The street tyre has a much bigger void ratio. That's there to displace water, for example. It also means that if you order these tyres for your car, you have to know what you're doing. You've got a lot more grip in the dry and at high temperatures, but in the wet you should bear in mind that aquaplaning will set in sooner and you have less grip. 
All the specific development work that we do with the tyre manufacturers to get the tyre absolutely right for BMW vehicles is marked by this star that you find on the wall of the tyre. Not just on the track tyres, it's on all BMW tyres, because it's not just at BMW M that tyres are developed specifically, but at BMW in general.